Well, I've just opened the two digit display manager Lavi project. And I'd like to show you some of the details of the prototype for the show hex on display sub VI that ultimately will be targeted on the FPGA. Now this is a host VI and everything that we see here runs on the desktop computer. Now on this loop on the bottom, I begin by establishing the connection to the FPGA pass-through circuit. When the loop completes, then I can close that reference. The read-write control node establishes the linkage between the controls and indicators on the FPG FPGA target. Now ultimately I'll be using pairs of sub-VIs to operate the display. This global variable establishes the linkage between one loop and the other. So in this case, once that value has been formatted, the global variable communicates it down to this loop. Here I'm splitting the 16-bit value into two 8-bit components, one for the left digit and one for the right. And here we see the individual signal lines ultimately connecting to the FPGA I.O. I'm pacing this particular loop at 100 milliseconds. And if you look carefully at the upper loop, you'll see it's the same pacing value. Now this is what I would consider to be my primary user input. This is an 8-bit unsigned integer. And the intent uh, is to accept this value pull the individual bits apart, then I rebundle them four bits at a time. So these would be the two nibbles, if you will. Make those into arrays and then convert those to the numerical interpretation. The case structure then selects one of 16 possible seven bit patterns to send to the two digit LED display. These seven bit patterns are bundled together as well as bundling together uh, a, a false constant that enables both digits permanently. And the 16 bit array value is converted to a 16-bit integer interpretation and then sent to the display loop on the bottom. You'll notice as I step through the case structure panels that we have various patterns for the 7-bit array and these correspond to the particular way of generating the characters on the display. Go ahead and run this VI and yeah, this looks pretty good. I've got the control here set up so that I can key in hexadecimal format values directly. And if you look down on the National Instruments Digital Electronics FPGA board, you see that everything seems to be working fine. Now again, the beauty of this transparent FPGA technique is uh, illustrated here. If I make a quick change in what amounts to the character generation or font generation, if you will, just to give some different patterns here, I can hit run and immediately see the results down on the FPGA board. No time whatever is lost waiting for the bit file to rebuild, as would be the case if I was doing development on the FPGA target itself.